processor packaging. When you look at a processor, it's the packaging you see, and not the microprocessor itself. Typically, the processor packaging is a ceramic or plastic. They all boil down to a packaging style that is mounted perpendicular to the motherboard into a single slot. Much like expansion, cards, and memory. Packaging is the process of connecting a microprocessor with a computer motherboard. So, maodeni ang naong sa ato motherboard. The motherboard is the main circuit board of your computer and is also known as the main board or logic board. Microprocessor, it is a small chip that resides in computers and other electronic devices. It is also the central unit of computer system that performs arithmetic and logic operations, which generally include adding, subtracting, transferring number from one area to another, and comparing two numbers. It's often known simply as a processor, a central processing unit, or as a logic chip. So there are three most important of a microprocessor. It is CPU, bus, and memory. So the CPU or central processing unit is the part of a computer system that is commonly referred as the brains of a computer. The CPU is also known as the processor or a microprocessor. CPU is responsible for executing a sequence of stored instructions called a program. Second is bus. Buses are used to send control signals and data between the processor and the other components. And the third one is memory. There are two basic kinds of memory used in microprocessor, and it is called the read-only memory, but more usually called as ROM, and RAM or random access memory. There are four kinds of microprocessor. These are dual-core processor, quad-core processor, octa core processor and lastly the hexa core processor the dual core processor is designed for users who frequently multitask or who use multi-threaded applications and it is good enough to get most things done with reasonable speed only when you're editing videos rendering 3d stuff planning house designing complex engineering stuff or working with matlab next is quad core processor are used commonly for general purpose computing system, just not for using of PCs but due to its best processing speed. They can be used in mobile computing devices like as smartphones, tablets, and etc. Octa-core processor. Processor enables Galaxy smartphones to carry out more advanced tasks such as handling high-resolution videos and graphic heavy games without draining the battery, making the devices capable and efficient. Octa-core processor also gives a Galaxy devices faster load times. And the last one is Hexa-core processor. Hexa-core is faster when application can use same processor speed as that of Quad. Usually, Hexa will be faster for than Quad for same generation set of processor. So there are five types of general purpose processors. These are microcontroller, microprocessor, Embedded processor, DSP or digital signal processing, and the last one is media processor. The microcontroller are used in automatically controlled products and devices, such as automobile engine control systems, implantable medical devices, remote controls, office machines, appliances, power tools, and other embedded systems. Second is the microprocessor. As what I've said earlier, it is a small chip that resides in a computers and other electronic devices. It's often known as simply as a processor, a central processing unit, or as a logic chip. Next is embedded processor. Embedded processor helps to control aircraft and industrial automation. They are common in automobiles and in both large and small household appliances. DSP or digital signal processing is used primarily in areas of auto signals, speech processing, radar, seismology, audio sonar, voice recognition, and some financial signals. And the last one is media processor. Mostly used as an image or video processor is a microprocessor based system on a chip which designed to deal with the digital streaming data in real time rates. So, maura to guys ang amo ang report.
Thank you. Sag pa paminaw o tanaw. So that's all. Thank you. Hello everyone. So today we will talk about processor calling. There are two ways or kinds of calling. Air calling and liquid calling or water calling. But let's talk about first the air calling. We all know that CPU is the brain of the computer. If we will run it without any calling components, most likely it will overheat. That's why it needs heat sink to dissipate the heat. A heat sink is basically an aluminum block with fins that directly makes contact with the CPU. Its purpose is to increase the surface area of the CPU so that it can make more air contact for calling. So, if maone ang atong CPU, ang kanang ibutang na to sa ibabaw, like itakob na to, maona atong itawag nga heat sink. So, once the heat sink makes contact on the CPU, the heat will transfer from the CPU to the heat sink, where air cools the heat sink, which will cool the CPU. Then, on top of the heat sink, nadira ang CPU fans or blowers. It is designed to move air across the heat sink to help it to help keep it cool. So it's important that CPU and heat sink will make the most contact of each other so adequate calling can take place. That's why we need to use a thermal compound or thermal inter face materials grease and elastomeric pads are used as thermal interface materials thermal interface materials is used to fill in the microscopic air gaps between the heat sink and cpu so in any magnesia guys if tanaw na to ang surface sa heat sink ng cpu flat ang atong makita but i-examine na nato through microscope dili na siya flat kung ato na nang kanang ibutang ang atong heat sink nato sa CPU na ini kanang sagaw kagamay ana na na siya gap that's why we need thermal compound to fill that gap basically if a thermal compound mo overheat gapon ang CPU though na heat sink Dili man instantly nga, ma-overheat da yun, but basically it will fail. Ang kanang mga microscopic air gaps, maka-affect na sa kanang pag-transfer sa heat, ngagikan sa atong CPU, padung sa heat sink, which will make the CPU cooler. So, maora na siya, hope na kanang nakasabot mo, o kung sa ito'y gamit sa heat sink o thermal compound. So, katutan na akong gisulti kay about to sa air calling. So, ang liquid calling kay matok na siya about, matok na siya sa lain nga reporter. So, maura to siya. Hope nakasabot mo and thank you and God bless. What is liquid calling? Liquid or water cooling is a method of heat removal from electrical components. As opposed to our cooling, water is used as the heat conductor. So it means usually liquid cooling is used to the balance the heat. Let's go to the history part of liquid cooling. Cooling hot computer components with various fluids has been in use since at least as far back as the development of Crato in 1982. Ang saman ni si Crato. Crato is a supercomputer with 4 hectares processor made by the Cray Research starting in 1982. The central unit of Crato is foreground and foreigner calling, also known as waterfalls. And the early part of 1980s, the dominant microprov processor use home computers where the 8 bit MOS technology 6502 through the through the 1990s water calling for home pieces slowly gain con what is con 
CONT stands for Computer Oriented Numerical Technique. As of 2011, there are several manufacturers of water cooling components and kits, and some custom computer retailers include various sets up of water cooling for their high performance system. Apple's Power Mac G5 was the first mainstream desktop computer to have water cooling as standard, and Dell followed suit by shipping their XPS computers with liquid cooling. There are eight components of cone. For one, radiator pump. Radiator pump is a coolant pump. is a type of pump used to recirculate a coolant. Then, CPU water black. CPU water black is the water cooling equivalent of a heat sink, including central processing unit or CPU. GPU or graphics processing unit and PPU physics processing unit and VGA water block. What is VGA stands for? VGA stands for video graphic array. The most common issue hardcore PC games is you GPU or graphic processing unit overheating and then flow indicator. A flow indicator meter works by measuring the amount of liquid. And colon is a substance, typical liquid, a gas that is used to reduce or regulate, regulate the temperature of a system. And tube in aluminum alloy tube is a medium strength alloy with excellent corrosion resistance. And quick coupling is a no as quick connect couplers and then advantages of liquid cooling over air cooling water's high specific heat capacity density and thermal conductivity this allow water to trans transmit heat over greater distance with much less volumetric flow and reduce temperature difference and the water cone, the water jacket around the engine is also very effective and mechanical noises and last no dust and no need to open computer to clean in. Advantages of liquid cooling over air cooling is cost significantly more than an air cooled engine system and size and weight need large area inside and out the computer require larger data system cases to fit all the parts within a computer cases and the uses of usage of liquid cooling or water cooling is water cooling can be used to cool many computer components especially the cpu gpu north bridges south bridges hard disk drives memory Voltage regulator modules and power supply can be watered cold. And the last, liquid versus air cooling. Liquid cost high versus air slow. Size, liquid big, air small. Compatibility, liquid specific CPU versus air all CPU. Safety, Sa liquid less, sa air more. Skill re the required to kasa liquid yes, sa air no. Efficient efficiency sa liquid high versus air moderate. Spread sa liquid low, air high. And that's all. Thank you.